As we continue with the discipline of worship, we've been talking throughout much of this week about how we worship as individuals and as a local body of Christ. Today our theme is the worship of all creation, and our scripture is Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for at his command they were created, and he established them forever and ever. He issued a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding. You mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and rulers on earth, young men and women, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens, and he has raised up for his people a horn, the praise of all his faithful servants, of Israel, the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. Well, in Psalm 148, we hear not just about the praise of the people, that actually comes at the very end, but it's how all that God has created daily praises the Creator, from sun and moon and stars. Think about times when you've watched a sunrise or a sunset, and how you've been so moved and stirred by the beauty of what you've seen. Walking out on our deck last night with no moon and the sky clear, just looking at the planets and the stars that are so far away and yet their light reaches us. Every night they come out and praise God in their brilliance. And then the psalm goes on to talk about all of creation on earth from the oceans and everything that lives in them. All the trees and the animals, the small creatures, the birds, and then back to people again. Every day, creation is singing the praise of God in worship, and our lives are to do the same thing. So as you go through this day, go through it with your eyes and your ears open to how everything around you that God has made is lifting itself in worship.